Yeah. Okay, good. Well, well good morning. Welcome. Um, how's this week been? You've had a full week, haven't you? You didn't have a midweek game uh, and, and your first full week in charge, I suppose. How's it gone for you? Um, it's been really good. Um, the lads have been very responsive to just keeping things as they are. We had a team meeting on Tuesday. I gave them Monday off, um, so they were pleased. Um, then, yeah, it was business as usual on Tuesday. We had a team meeting just to say, uh, the, like debrief, obviously the game, and then um, and we were we were then looking ahead. Really, it was just a case of let's just keep things as normal as we can. Um, I said to the group that things would be a little bit different around the place, as in, you know, just a. A few more bodies would be in the building um, because of, I'm probably say because of any uncertainty. But um, you know, it, it was it was a it was a case of me just sort of debriefing the group to say that this this might happen. Um, it won't be it won't be a hindrance, but we just we just get on to get on with training, um, and then we look forward to um, obviously tomorrow with Bradford. Um, sorry, there's a fly coming in. Um, so, yeah, it was business as usual, but with a little bit of difference. And when you say a little bit of difference, do you mean the surroundings or, or the way that you've approached training? Have you asked them to do anything no, differently? No, I haven't. Asked, no, just like just a few people coming in. You know what I mean? It's not, you know, people just want to, you know, speak to the chairman, obviously with Darren Kelly as well. Um, you know, a couple of directors wanted to come in, things like that. So it's, you know, they, they want to, they want to ensure that you know the clubs um, looked after, and that you know that was that was what I was just trying to say to the the, the group really that um, it's not unexpected. It's you know they they do come, you know they do come in. So it's just obviously we got ground staff coming in as well differently around the place. They're changing the training ground to a rugby pitch as well. So it was just. Um, just things were a little bit going to be a little bit more different, I, and it it was a case of the manager's gone, so things aren't the same. So it will look different. It will be different. Uh, that's 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 what I'm trying to say. And there's people trying to, um, I'm saying steady the ship, but that, that's 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 all it was. It was going to be different. The, the surroundings haven't changed uh, apart from the pitch because um, there's rugby markings on there now. Does that make it more difficult to train on? Um, it won't be today, but in 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 the coming weeks, yeah. You, you, I don't know if you live in Newport, but um, it is uh, it rains quite a bit, um, and then uh, you add rugby to that. You've seen the pitch at Rodney, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you judge that. So you think that that could affect your training going forward? Could it will? <laughs> it, it's not a could. It will. Uh, you know, we got to come up with a contingency plan. Um, that's, that's, listen, it, it's better that it's on a training pitch rather than Rodney Parade because we won't get awarded any any points at our training pitch. We can we can make mistakes there, um, but obviously with Rodney Parade being as good as it is now, it's. Um, it's it's good that you know we that pitch won't won't go well, shouldn't obviously deteriorate but um, yeah we're just we're moving one problem to the other but like I said it, it's more important that Rodney Parade's good and we get because there's there's obviously points on that and I say jobs at stake etc. But well we're well, talking of jobs we know that the the manager's gone the club's looking for a new manager you're the man in the manager's chair at the moment is it a job you'd want to do full time. Um, no, not really. Um, I've always said I'm, I'm more of a on the grass kind of guy. I want to, you know, I, I, I want I excel in what I'm good at, and it would, it would, I don't know, it would take a hell of a lot for me to become a manager. I would say, um, and, it, and as I'm. As a person, I'm not 100% sure. So if I'm not 100% sure, then um, 
there's obviously elements of doubt in what and it's not my I'm not doubting my own ability. Um I just don't want to deal with um all the the politics that goes with it, the the agents, etc. Um I'm quite a hands-on person. I wanna I wanna I interact with the players while I you know I study what we do, analyze what we do, etc. I'm more of a I've always just been a, a, a you know a, a coach and that's um that's just been my that's been my strengths and I'm just trying to excel in what in what I want to do, you know, that, that's that's simple as that. Um obviously when when circumstances arise that you have to step up and things like that, I, I'm I'm more than capable. That's but long term that's not something that I wanna I wanna do. Um Weirdly, I, I I I don't judge football as in long term. Um, when I look at games, when I look at you know our our group, I don't look too far ahead. I probably look about three four weeks ahead. Um, it was whereas when you're a manager, you probably look at you know as a a long term thing. I, I I don't look that far. Well, obviously that would be a long term thing. I wouldn't. I just realised that it may affect me later down the line. So I'm I'm kind of think ahead on that. And um, I trust my judgment. And obviously, there is a game tomorrow. We'll talk about that. Um, yeah. I mean, it does feel, doesn't it, with with the manager leaving um, and all the uncertainty that that brings, that you know, that things might not be going great at the football club. But you look at the table, a, w- a win tomorrow, you, you're in the playoff places. So, from a football perspective, things are going okay, aren't they? Yeah, the, the, you know the way we played. You know, the last two home games, we we done really well. In obviously, sandwiched in between that was the Barrow loss, um, but we played really well for half hour there, and we went in front. You know, could have went in front even further because obviously, like Courtney's gone clean through. Um, so it could have been could have been a lot different. You know, we could have picked up an extra few points on on the road, but you know, I said weeks and weeks ago that it was a it's unprecedented what we've done in this first six weeks of the league. Um, and no one else is at the point with that. No one, no one else in the whole of the football leagues. So we, we actually do feel now it's starting to level off. So, the, you know, the, we're having the same preparation time as everyone else, whatever. And we're having the same um, fixture schedule as everybody else where, you know, we'll have one at home, one or well, two at home, one away, etc. So... That that is now hopefully gathering us a little bit of momentum, but we 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 need we need a positive result tomorrow, like you said, to just to be to get in that pack that normally we've been, you know, we've normally been up there this this stage of the season. So if it means that it's a few weeks later than normal, um, great. Um, and uh, but it's going to be a big big benchmark tomorrow just to see how 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 far we're going to go or how far we've come. Um, but we got to, we got to judge it on its merits, and hopefully we just um, we have a positive um, outcome. You know that's all. But I, w- I want us to play well and be brave on the ball and what we did last week, um, and that hopefully will be you know with a crowd getting behind us tomorrow. I, I envisage there's going to be you know hopefully a few extra on the on the crowd. Obviously with the away fans as well being the amount that they bring, um, it adds a little bit more. A little bit more spice to it, so it's. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Is there going to be any spice on the touchline? Derek Adams is their manager, isn't he? The last time you were on the touchline with him was at Wembley, and he wasn't particularly sympathetic or complimentary, was he, about Newport after after the game at Wembley, the playoff? No, but listen, I can, I can control what someone else says. So, listen, that's that's, that's up to that's up to him. Um, I'm. I'm only fully focused on what we do. Um, I won't be, I won't be caught into any any anything else. It is it's about what we do, and we've we focus on what we do. Um, and I, all I'm going to look forward to is just a positive performance and um, just a, a brave performance, if anything, because we're coming up against a different type of team. We you know they're physical, they're, they're quite direct in what they do, and. Um, we got to be able to cope with that as well as then imposing our game on them. But as as for anyone else, um, 
I can't control what other people do. So I, I, I have zero interest in in what anybody else has to say. Okay, and, and last question from me. Um, we, we talked about you being in charge for, 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 for all of this week for the first time. We hear about players banging on the manager's door, asking uh, for a chance. Have you, got, have you got people knocking on your door this week saying, come on, Gaffer, stick me in, if they haven't been having a chance lately? Um, I had one. Um, I'm, I won't name names, um, but he, he's a he's a top player, so uh, he, yeah, he's going to have to be possibly patient. But I just said to him last week, it's about a level of consistency in what what we do and how um, and how when you gain your, your shirt, how how you keep it, you know, and that's whether it's hard work. Um, with or without the ball, but just being part of a, a team, and that's what it's always been about for us. We, we um, staff, um, players, the subs, players that end in the squad. Things can change quite different, you know, in a, in a space of a week or a couple of days, especially especially here. Um, despite we have a big squad or not, thing, things can change quite quickly. So, um, if you know, he knocked on my door. Come in. We had a good conversation. It was. It's not something I'm not not used to. Um, you know, I've dealt with them kind of things before. Sometimes they've spoken to me rather than the manager, or we, they've had us, um, the pair of us in the room. So it's it's healthy. It, you know, it's good. It's good for us. You know, I'm. You, you you get to know the play. You get time with them alone. Um, sometimes, and it's it's about finding. What, what they're thinking as well as, as, as opposed to you know what I always say or what I always think it's not you know it's, it's got to be a two-way thing Brilliant thank you very much good luck no see you come. tomorrow Thank you Hi Wayne um, Hi Chris um, Ollie Cooper is he uh, how is he after his ankle injury is he Yeah he's fine um, he trained as normal Wednesday uh, had Tuesday just to uh, give him a little bit more off feet um, so he could just give him an extra 24 hours but yeah fine he trained he trained well on Wednesday um, we'll be back training today so um, everyone else from looking at my list is is good to go um, obviously apart from Priestley who's going to be out um, long you know long term so I've, I've sent him away on holiday <laughs> um, which he which he's pleased with oh, okay. <laughs> Um, I don't, obviously, I don't know who that player was you were mentioning before, but Finn came on um, and made a difference. You mentioned him after the game, uh, after probably that balance of the midfield wasn't quite there in Barrow, uh, Michael was suggesting. Um, but he, he's a talented boy, isn't he, Finn? Very, very talented indeed. Um, I, I, I said to him, you know, with his level level of performance that he did he demonstrated against, um, against Gunthorpe was was what I knew he could do. Um, I've seen in it. I'm seeing it now in training now daily, which is um, a real bonus for the club because he's a good player, very good, and it's about we you know we've had we've had individual chats, we've had like unit chats when it's been the midfielders have come in we've done debriefs etc we try to change things that way um, as an analysis side of things we try to um, you know look at us in and out of possession i.e. Barrow you know we've played against teams that have been 3-5-2 against us in the last couple of weeks which has been um, quite not strange but you know what what we do to teams they've done to us so that's been a little bit more of a learning curve for us because we've had a couple of new ones and fit, Finn fits into that bracket. Um, he just said to me, look, we need to um, probably do a bit more out of possession than we do in, in possession because in possession, he's one, he's one of the best at this club. So um, the game got stretched against Scunthorpe and then he, you see how good he was. So um, obviously he's been on the bench Um you know, we we've had we've had discussions about you know where he fits in, and um, it's something that I, I need to think about. Yeah, exciting long term for it. Long term, you can never think too long term with loanies, I guess we've learned that with Scott Twine, but 
what he can bring to the, that, that sort of final third is exciting. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, you know, he's very similar to Ollie as well. Um, you know, we, we see what Ollie could do last week. You know, he got the crucial first goal for us, um, and that was, you know, that give us that platform. You know, so you know, Ollie Ollie's done really well as well. Um, you know, and they're very similar in what they do. Um, always looking him to um, get in between, sort of, you know, any deep liars and you know the their back four or three, whatever we played against, and we've always tried to use that as a as a weapon um, to get our get our principles out, really, just of switching play, etc., and um, just trying to penetrate in the right areas. But um, yeah, it, we we've what we we've got two good players and exciting prospects whenever they get on the ball. And that's, you know, you need that in any, in any team that is, if you're going to do or be successful do or do well, it's going to be, they're going to be pivotal to what you do. Um, at the moment, within our shape, possibly only one can play. Um, but we did, we have looked at that in other areas. You know, in other games, we've looked at playing with two, you know, two tens, if you want to call it that. Um, so that they they would fit into them that bracket. Um, just in terms of the, you, it's very much business as usual. If you ask the aim, isn't it? Have, yeah. have you had to, given you are hands on, have you had to get in extra help in terms of using maybe Kev, who's been doing development team, isn't he? And well, people like Marco Bryan. Have you have you lent on people more to bring them in or? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd be, I'd be na- naive not to. Um, <laughs> it's a tough. You know, it's a tough job, but I can't. I can't do that on my own. I can't. You know, I've I've been speaking to the gaffer daily. It's not. I. You know, it's not like. You know, we've broken up as in a divorce, and like he never wants to speak to me again. It's he. He wants to. He wants to help me. He don't want. He don't want the club to fail. Um. And fundamentally, what? You know, that's what we're paid to do. Um. And I'm very, very old school in that. Is is standards to be met, and that's whether it's the staff, whether it's the players, whether it's the whether it's the reverend that comes in, says hello, whether it's the the doctor, whoever wants to come in. There, there's standards here that need to be kept, and and that that's why it will always be okay. As in, you know, the staff have been with us a long time. So they know what they know what to expect. They know what how you know how to look out for anything that might go wrong, and they're they're here to help. And that's and and I'll need, I've leaned on I've leaned on everyone. No no probably no different to what my role was before. I'm, I was assistant manager, but very much hands on. Um, and that in it, and I would always be a you know a port of call for the morning. I did the McDonald's run this morning. That hasn't changed. So, to keep the staff happy. Um, that's, that's that's the that's the main thing. Keep them happy. Was the order just coffee, or is it um, the? Uh, no. Is it, right. no, we had a uh, we had the we had the works. Yeah, it was it was good. <laughs> <laughs> sounds, sounds like Flynn's taking working from home to a new level. If he's still telling you what to do from uh, from his sofa, but there we are. There's a, um, I guess it's very much, isn't it? You're making sure that whoever comes in, they're taking charge of a club, looking up. That, that's very much, you know, to be on yeah. the that's, that's the yeah. deal. Yeah, so I've always said to the chairman, to to Darren, to anyone really that comes in here, we, you know, it's business as usual. You know, I've been I've been here a long time, and then, and that's important to me as a as a person that, you know, I I hate losing. I hate, you know, that I, I you know people know me. I do wear my heart on my sleeve. I'm quite quite open to that um i don't know it's just a lot more people are saying hello to me anyway which is quite quite strange um even even you know people have actually bought me a drink and things like that and maybe i wasn't maybe i wasn't approachable before but it seems as though i'm a little bit more approachable maybe i'm smiling a little bit more but uh listen if we keep keep winning then you know it keeps it keeps the walls from the door as such but um, it, it, you know, I, I want to win, and that's whether that's a five-a-side or um, an argument or a, 
um, a football match, it, it's, it, it won't, I won't change. Um, and anybody who knows me knows that that's me. And I, and I can't just be a completely different person um, just because, you know, I'm, I'm now sort of overseeing things that is, you know, people see through that. It's, it, it's about, it's not just all about me. It's about the, you know, the bigger picture of the, the team and the club and, um, the players most importantly because without them we you know there wouldn't be a football club and you know and there's the fans etc they we need them to buy into it and get behind the boys that's 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 they're the old cliches but they're they're good ones that's brilliant well the people buying you a drink they want something remember that that's uh... yeah yeah i know that <laughs> <laughs> something football or something yeah good stuff cheers mate see you tomorrow All right. thanks chris You've got Flinny working off the sofa. You've got divine intervention with the Reverend. I mean, you're calling on everything, aren't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You need a bit. You need a bit of help from. <laughs> I'll say the devil and God, isn't it? I yeah, quite. You, you, yeah. you judge which one's the devil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. That's just probably just how how we are here. Yeah. You know, it's not an open um, forum, but you know we're. We've always said we've always allowed people to come in and you know say hello, be part of the group. Um, yeah, and it's 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 nice to see different faces at times. Yeah. You know, you, you you need that, and you know the players, the players most importantly want to feel comfortable, and that's that's all we try to do. We yeah. we have a good, you know, Fridays are quite quite uh, not say not jovial, but. You know they're quite. It's a bit more of a down day, yeah. um, and it's more, a little bit more tactical today because of um, a meeting going ahead. But um, that, yeah, it's like fine day. So you know, spin the wheel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It, it gets the lads, um, you know, sort of buzzing a little bit, ready for tomorrow. So hopefully, we you know. One thing that struck me, Wayne, is that. Um, it's an international break, and in recent seasons, you've you've always taken up the option of of having the break, and that's put a bit of pressure on you. I just wonder whether the continuity of playing Saturday, Saturday, and not having that break is going to be good for you. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it will be. It's like I said a bit earlier. Is we know we're on a level footing now. We ain't playing catch up um, with teams. We're not having say three away games on the trot. Or for argument's sake, if one gets cancelled. Um, Maybe that's also a sign that we ain't got good enough players anymore. We, you know, we they, they're not internationals, so uh, you, well, you, no, could, flip I mean, it, you could flip it both ways. Yeah, yeah. But I, I know mean, what you're you had, saying. Yeah, you had a, an extraordinary group uh, for a while, and you know, but you were in, still invoking under 19s and 21s to make sure you've got the game off, don't you? But now, given the momentum from last week, I'd have thought you would have wanted to play regardless. Yeah, but we had like. Josh Sheen and Tom King, they're in the they're in the Wales squad. That's yeah, not yeah. in the 21s. Uh, yeah, playing with that but, Josh. Like, like, we're, we're, but, yeah. we're losing two of our best players. <laughs> I, I don't know where you're heading with this one, but yeah. right, okay, um, fine. Well, no, you, okay, I I just thought you 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 had such a big squad last season, and you had a big squad this season that you could cover up maybe, but you know, having games in hand and then playing uh, later on. It just seemed to pile up on you. Yeah, but the pitch didn't help, did it? Yeah. There's a, there's, a, there's a number of reasons, but having one game called off sometimes suits, sometimes it doesn't. You'll, yeah. you'll look at other other teams that do. It might be because a they're their best players, so you don't want to lose them, and you don't want to play a game without them, which would have been the case for us. So it weren't a case of, oh yeah, we'll just call it off because of that. We called them off because we'd lose Josh Sheen. Yeah. Um, who, who would get in any League Two team? Yeah. yeah. So, what? Why should we play a game without Josh Sheen? Yeah. So that, that, there's fundamentals around it. Whether we had to play catch up because of because of them reasons. Yeah. But the pitch didn't help. That it's not. I, I ain't going over old ground. But yeah. you know the pitch. We had to move venues. We had games called off. It was, you know, circumstances that were beyond our control. That yeah. was. Whether whether there's injuries, whether it's call ups, whether it's the pitch, we had factors to deal with last year, and there's reasons why we didn't go up, but yeah. we still had a successful season and we didn't quite get over the line. But that's last year. Yeah, we've yeah, got, right, yeah, we've got we've got a good pitch this year. 
yeah. the place, the, pl- the whole place is looking really, really positive. The, yeah. the, the ground is being upgraded like immensely and it's, it's still tough for away teams because things ain't changed. You know, except for the pitch in their respect, the change rooms are still the same for them. They're not for us. Ours are really, really, really good. Yeah. Um, and we've been able to adapt and, and it felt great last week when, when that was all done. And, yeah. you know, the fans are still say the same for the away team. The pitch is the only thing that's got better for them. Yeah. Um, Can you potentially train at Rodney Parade before a game? No. Right, so because I'm just thinking, you know, maybe a Friday you go and train there ahead of a game. No, we, because... we, we've got a great relationship with them, um, yeah. the ground staff, et cetera, the, um, the hierarchy there. They, they've been, we've got a great relationship. Um, and that's, that, was, that was down to um, the gaffer and me and, you know, the board as well. So yeah. I think things have really improved in that, in that, in that sense. So the, do you know what? They would, be, they would be open to it, I would say, a lot more this year than yeah. ever before but again it's that that fear of um the pitch um deteriorating but it, it looks like this year is going to be the best it's ever been and you know fundamentally it's not ours yeah. so we we you know we don't dictate what what we do but they, they've been brilliant um yeah. john you know john's been brilliant ground staff mark they they're they're, they're great they're, they're great to us, really. So we yeah. just we've got to maintain that, yeah. that that relationship. And two teams playing their round of three is uh, is, is a bonus. Other than that, yeah. third team is now on your training yeah. pitch. Yeah, that's it. We're uh, see. Yeah. If we, well, I don't think we're playing at rugby. No. Um, that we might come out a little bit losing on that one, but yeah. we might see if we can play against them at football and see yeah. if we can we can do that. But yeah, um, <laughs> it, yeah it, I, listen. It is like I said before. It's great that. If they ruin our training pitch, then we'll have to adapt. Trust me, yeah. I we took over. Our, um, obviously, when we took over, the pitch was in a a terrible state. Yet we still yes. still managed to to win football games. So yeah. it won't be the reason why we lose or the reason why we we win. It would be how we prepare, how we how we conduct ourselves, get the right team spirit, get momentum, like you said. You know, when, and hopefully that as a formula will be uh, a winning, you know, a winning formula for us, really. Yeah. So, so that's twice you've told Carl you definitely don't want to be manager. And, yeah. you know, yeah, and, and you also mentioned last time that you've got a contract till the summer. When a new management team comes in, all things can change. I mean, are we seeing you marking the time to your end here at Newport County? Are you foreseeing that maybe next summer that's going to be it? Or do you feel that there's still a way forward for you? Um, there, there, there's always a way forward. Um, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna be naive enough to know that I a I am out of contract at the end of the season. Um, my contract was um, in line with the um, the gaffer, and basically, maybe discussions will have to be made if that was to carry on. Um, I've been. I've been here a long time and yeah. I think it's something like 10 years, but obviously over two, two stints. I don't, I don't know anybody else that's actually done that here. So maybe I'm due a testimonial or something like that. We can, so, do, um, we can work on that. You, yeah. You could give me, yeah, maybe just give me a, a send off. I don't know if it, if, if you, if you find out before me, just <laughs> um, so I could, so I could make a couple of quid and then I can um, have an holiday or something. Cause I know I had any in the last few years. So, uh, um, I, I I haven't got a crystal ball. You, you know, whoever comes in um, may want to bring in their own man, may not. You know, the club have said that they want me to stay, um, which I'm contracted to do. So yeah. that's, you know, we always say that you're six games away from the sack. So, you know, it's six games time. You could be saying to me like, yeah, thank God there's new people coming in. You, that's, that's how fickle it can be. So um, I'm under no illusions that I just want to do well yeah. for the lads, do well for the players, do well for the staff, um, keep things, you know, going as normal. But we still, still got a job to do, and 
that's it. That's, that's all I can think about is in the yeah. next few weeks. I, I, ain't, I ain't a long-term person, which I said. Yeah. Right. Thank you.